and that is div ID header user. So if we look on the right hand window here, we can see that we've got header underscore right header underscore user. And that is not actually in the global CSS file. That's in something called block user info.css. So that just happens to be a module and we'll need to find this block user info.css in order to modify this portion of it right here. So let's go back to our FTP program. And right now we're still in themes, we're in the PrestaShop theme, and we're in CSS. So if, if I just scroll up here a little bit, we can see that there is a folder within CSS called modules. Let's click on that. And we're looking for block user info. And there's lots of blocks here, so let's just scroll down until we find that block user info. Here we go, block user info. So let's open block user info, and here's block user info CSS. So let's view and edit that. And there we go, block user info CSS. So here we go, header underscore right, header underscore user and that matches up with what we were looking at right here. Now, what we want to do is change this. Let's just test it here in Firefox first. And that puts it where we want, so we know that's right. All we need to do is um, either copy it, or in this case, I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to change it. It's only one item, and it's 980 pixels. And then, don't forget, you need to save. And when you save here, you have to be sure that that got uploaded. So this is how we upload. Now that should be overwritten. And let's go ahead and test that. Let's go back to our store. And I'm going to click Reload. And it stayed. So if that would not have changed, that would have moved back to the center. But we can double check here. Let's just check dev ID header user. And now we can see it's at 980 pixels after we reloaded. So we did change the file. And that's the end of this tutorial. So I actually taught you a few more things than just centering this. But uh, hopefully you can take it and use it to adapt your store a little bit better. In another video, I think what we'll look at is maybe modifying this a little bit more because not everybody wants the currency or the language settings and we might play around with moving this and making it a little bit more attractive. So thanks again for watching another training video from PrestaTraining.com.